understanding frame data. It's a bunch of numbers. See high numbers, see low numbers, see odd numbers, even numbers. See symbols for S, A, on block, on head. Today's video, I will actually be breaking it down pretty simple. This right here is Ryu. This is the path of my destiny. When you first look at this sheet, you see a bunch of numbers like I said. Standing LP, stand MP, heavy piece. A few things that I like to take note to when I was first learning this. You definitely want to pay attention to the S, which stands for startup. A stands for active. R is for recovery. OB is for on block. OH is on hit. So the three that you really want to pay attention to when first starting out is the S. OB and OH. Frame data. This helps you understand how fast a move is, uh, what's the advantage on block, which is very important. This is where you start most frame traps depending on what button you start with. Um, the fastest button in the game is three frames. Of course, this differs from other fighting games. In Tekken, the fastest is 10 frames. And Strive, I think it might be a little bit slower than that, don't quote me. But Street Fighter, the fastest jab is three. And looking at frame data, it also helps you understand what punishes to go through. Frame trap and utilizing what into what. So this is where things are gonna get very descriptive, all right? Hang with me and hold on. How do I look at this frame data and determine how to structure a frame trap. Whatever button you start with, you wanna make sure it has some sort of advantage on block. So in Ryu's case, you have standing light punch with a three frame startup and it's plus two on block. So since it's plus two on block, this is actually a good starter. It's giving you two frames of advantage on your next button, which means it's gonna come out two frames faster. So let's say I wanna start with standing light punch. Three frame startup plus two on block. If you go into training mode, it's gonna be highlighted blue as soon as you hit standing jab with Ryu. It's gonna show you plus two in blue and it's gonna be negative two in red for the opponent. Next, with the advantage of two, right, coming from standing jab, what button can I swing that's gonna cover a three frame mash if your opponent decides to mash a button. So let's go ahead and do some math. Easy as one, two, three. You ain't gotta do no algebra, no calculus. Just add this, add that, subtract that, bada bing, bada boom, you got your answer. Standing light punch is a three frame startup plus two on block. Keep that in mind. So let's say I wanted to look at standing medium punch with a two frame advantage. On base itself, it's a five frame startup. With this being the second button, it's gonna come out two frames faster, meaning coming out on a third startup frame. So if I take this into training mode and I pick Ryu, and I go against Balrog, which has a three frame, we're gonna be able to lab this real quick. We wanna be able to see if standing jab is gonna frame trap into standing medium and catch the counter hit for Balrog trying to hit standing light kick, which is his three frame. I'm gonna record him mashing three frame. Bada bing, bada boom, caught it on the reversal frame. Standing jab is plus two on block, it's gonna be blue for me and red for Balrog. I wanna see if my standing media punch will catch this three frame. Bada bing, bada boom. We figured out a frame trap off of looking at frame data and comparing the startup and the on block frame advantage to determine what's gonna stop a three frame match from the opponent. Why does this work? Standing light punch, three frame startup plus two on block. This plus two on block is giving standing medium punch two more frames to come out quicker. So instead of it being five frames, it's coming out on the third frame. This is also plus two on block. So even if they don't press a button right here, you're gonna gain two more frames of advantage on the third hit. Now the third hit might be a little bit iffy cause you know, after the second hit, you gotta start looking at spacing. Bada bing, bada boom, right? It's a little bit of space, which should allow you to hit crouching medium without getting interrupted by three frame. Now the reason why I chose crouching medium is because due to the spacing, it's also plus two on block and I think it's a six frame startup, give or take. Well, look at that. Catching a three frame once again. Three frame is actually whiffing in this situation though. So this is more of a whiff punish, to be honest with you. So when it comes down to spacing being created, space traps are starting to take part. So it's either your opponent can catch a buffer of you whiffing or you're gonna catch them. When you first pick up a character, you're gonna mess around in training mode and see what they can do. And then if you're at that level, you wanna look at their frame data to see what's what. <clears throat> 
So with that information, you'll be able to combine buttons and see what is able to stop what. Three frame, full frame, what a blow up tech, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Now, let's take a look at on block once again, but let's take a look at these red color bars, right? The plus two being green, that means you're plus. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you see high numbers, you see low numbers. Light greenish, demi green, or whatever you wanna call it, it represents safe. Once you see red, okay, now you're able to get punished if you throw out this particular move. Sweep itself is negative 11. Uh, damage and stun, that pretty much shows you what each button do on hit. So standing light, 30, 60, 90, then it just either goes up and down from there. See, all this extra stuff, I, I, I don't look at all this. That KD, that KDR, KDRB, like, I, f I feel like that's gone up and beyond for frame data. Like all these extra 60, 63, 56, and all that whoop de woo whoop de woo I don't pay attention to none of that. Like I said in the beginning, I look at S on block and on hit. Damage, I'll figure that out later once I do a bread and butter combo, then I calculate at the end, okay, that combo does that much damage. That is the basic structure of understanding frame data when looking at these numbers, these color codes, and what each symbol stand for. So hopefully this quick video was found helpful. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below if there is anything I may have missed, anything you're still confused about, I'll be happy to answer it. But besides that, how to understand frame data from a beginner's point of view.